Hello and welcome back to today's video. So we're going to be having a quick look at the integral of 1 on 1 plus e to the x. Okay, so let's dive right in. So for a problem like this, what we're going to do is we're just going to use a u substitution technique. So we're just going to say let u equal to e to the x. Okay, so as always, we then know that what we want to do is we want to try and find out well, what is du dx. So let's differentiate that with respect to x, and we still find that it's just going to be e to the x, exactly as you would expect from an exponential function. So now let's see, we'll rearrange to figure out what dx is going to be. So that means that dx is going to be equal to du on e to the x. Okay, fantastic. So now that we've got dx written out in terms of du and that exponential there, and we've got u is equal to e to the x, let's rewrite our problem now and let's see what happens. So now it's going to be equal to, well, the integral of du over, so e to the x, I'll write that as u, times by 1 plus u. Okay, so now for a problem like this, uh, we can go through and do the partial fraction decomposition here, although it's relatively easy to do, so I might just skip ahead, and that will just become the integral of 1 on u minus 1 over 1 plus u. And that's all going to be integrating with respect to u. Okay, so continuing forward, so integral of 1 on u, that's just going to be the natural log of u and then minus the natural log of 1 plus u, and then plus some constant c on the end there as well. Okay, and so now last step here, let's remember that u is equal to e to the x, so then will be the natural log of e to the x, so we know that will just actually just become an x, since the natural log will cancel out with that exponential there. So we have an x minus, now the natural log of 1 plus e to the x and then plus C. And that's it. That is our final answer for today. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this. If you do have any particular problems in mind that you'd like to see, then please leave a comment letting me know down below. And as always, stay curious.